Hello and welcome to a new player review. Today EA hit us again with a bunch of new content, a lot of SBCs like 5 or 6. EA are stepping up their game seriously after the Premier League Team of the Season. So that's very nice to see. We had a Team of the Season player SBC uh, today. We have a showdown, a versus Dortmund versus uh, Leverkusen, which is an upcoming game. The Team of the Season guarantees for Bundesliga and Liga Nos and uh, um, a pack SBC. Uh, so I went ahead and did one of the showdown, uh, which is uh, Zagadu from Dortmund versus Gray from Leverkusen. In terms of the game, uh, if you're wondering, I think Dortmund has uh, the biggest chance of winning that game. Like, I don't know, um, I want to say 60%, 65%. I think Dortmund is winning that game. Um, they are on great form. Uh, recently with four or five wins out of the last five six games uh, as opposed to Leverkusen which has won like one out of four or five games the Zagadu player as a center back looks amazing if you've not done Mbambu or if you've not done uh, Tapsoba it looks like a very very nice uh, center back and if he gets that addition of plus two going to 92 it's gonna be an amazing center back uh, both of them coming at a very good price I want to say 120 150 K somewhere around there so uh, even if you do Zagadu uh, it looks to be the best value for money that you can do. I went ahead and did uh, Gray um, Because he's a very similar looking player to this Leon Bailey that I use This is the team that I use for my road to glory. They're all untradeable. So I'm using uh, Right wing Bailey team of the season as a left wing on 7 chem uh, So I looked at the stats. They look very similar So I thought I could just use him uh, and switch him out and put this guy in for 10 chem and try him out and off the off chance that he gets the plus two um, it's going to be a better card than Leon Bailey so um, what we're seeing in the stats is we have great pace at 98 and 95 spin speed fantastic great differential great shooting at 91 attack positioning low finishing but great shot power so if you have a lot of shot power that ups the finishing as well because if you take a great um, a powerful shot the, you don't leave a lot of uh, time to for the keeper to react so for me that ups the finishing as well uh, good long shots the passing is great uh, all um, evened out uh, fantastic dribbling with great agility great balance uh, reactions ball control and dribbling uh, the composure seems a bit low but that like we always said composure only affects uh, the ball carrier um, if he's being pressured when he's under pressure the number of the composure tells you at what distance he's starting to feel the pressure from the, um, the defender. Uh, no defending, physical is a bit low, uh, jumping uh, 66, aggression 53, those are for me are kind of the secondary uh, stats in the physical. The stamina and the strength are the primaries. Uh, stamina at 86 seems to be cutting it close at this stage in the game. Um, we'll see how that affects him, if he can, he can last um, easily in 90 minutes. And the strength at 72, uh, for a winger seems to be something to expect. Um, bad thing is that we don't have any player traits. The CPU, i.e. long shot taker and speed dribbler are not something that you control. It doesn't affect you when you control the player. So um, these are like non-existent. Um, and the flare is not something that we can do much with. What we would like to see in the player traits from an attacker is outside the foot and the finesse shot. Uh, and the basic stuff, we have medium, medium. So not great work rates. We want to see the high and attacking work rates. Um, but attack positioning at 91 will improve that uh, medium medium a bit. Um, right footed, four star skills and an upgraded four star weak foot from the three star that he has on his basic card. So all in all, it looks to me like a great card. Like I said, it is very similar to this Leon Bailey. Um, you also get the English flag, which is a lot better than the Jamaican flag that Leon Bailey has for hybrids. Uh, with the English flag, you can hybrid into a Premier League um, type team easily. Uh, so all in all, it looks like a decent player and uh, the chance that maybe Leverkusen wins that game and he gets plus two, it looks to be a fantastic card. So let's go into uh, a couple of games and test this card out. All right, here we go with our first uh, opponent. Five at the back, but he's either going to push Mindy up or do something different. Anyways, for the first game, we're going to go in the 4-4-2 flat and we're going to try showdown Gray in the left mid uh, position with uh, get him behind and cut inside instructions. Oh. Nice pass by Gray, let's get it. He's not making the attack, what? No. Go, go. Uh, penalty. Gray, since he won it, not bad, 82. Score. Go, Gray. Oh, there it is. Good speed now. Good pass, shoot, nice. Good stuff by Gray there. All right, so here we go with another opponent. Uh, very nice. 
Ronaldinho. Good stuff in there, good stuff. Some good reds. That's a good team. So uh, we're going to do the same. 4-4-2 flat uh, because we didn't play a full game. The last one. Uh, showdown Gray is going to be our left mid with getting behind and cut inside the instructions. There. What a run by Gray. Get it. Shoot. Oh, that was a terrible. No power. Where's the 99 power? Go, Gray. Nice. What a ball. Get it. Nice. Oh, get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Go. Nice. Play it cold. There's great. Finish. Boom. There we go. I'm going to get ready to quit on 1 nil again. All right. For our next opponent, we have the actual showdown. As you can see, he has showdown Zagadu against my showdown Gray with a fantastic team with Pele, Douglas Costa, Llorente, Carrasco. Very, very nice team. I'm going to see the one player against the other. So for this game, I'm going to switch up formation as well. We're going to go in the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, and this time we're going to put uh, Gray in the right striker spot. So he's going to come uh, against. He's going to come up against Showdown Zagadu, and we're going to see those one-on-one. -on -one, um, who will prevail? Well, we will try and make it work. Come on, come on, Gray. There it is. Eat him! Oh, what the hell did he do there? Oh, as you can see. <laughs> the showdown was a complete failure for him. The first uh, threw a ball to um, Gray. Zagadu was after him. He made a stupid tackle because Gray outrun him, um, left him behind, and he just uh, fouled him from behind and got a red card. Go. Cool. Boom. Oh, what a goal. There's Gray. And a good pass. There it is. Yes. Oof, what a play. Nice assist by Gray. 2 0. Gray. Nice. Corona. Go. Uh, there we go. Tecatito. Gray. Shoot. Oh, no. That was a finesse. There's Gray. Shoot. Boom. There. On his left, I believe. So on his weak foot. There we go. Oh wow! Oh no! Oh, what the hell? <laughs> there he is. He's making that run. He take that shot. Oh, what a shot! Wow, that was a very, very nice, powerful shot there. All right, and that's gonna be game. Fantastic! Uh, this was the best performance by Gray out of the three games as a striker, hat trick and an assist as well. And he played against Showdown Zagadu, where he outran him and Zagadu fouled him from behind and got a red card. So all in all, a fantastic performance. So let's go back and have a look at this card. Okay, we're having a look at Showdown Gray uh, in a few games. We played uh, three games or, or so. A lot of goals. Um, we scored uh, two or three goals and assists with uh, with him as a left mid. Now in that position, I would say that uh, his medium medium work rates are not that great. Uh, his attack positioning, I thought, would be great to improve that medium medium and put him in great positions, but it doesn't. He sort of when you do the counter or you're in a fast run, he does the run and then he sort of holds back and he doesn't push in. Uh, so I would suggest in that position in the left mid or left wing spot, you put in like getting behind instructions. So he holds uh, high up on the defensive line. So he's there for the attack. Uh, I used also cut inside as a left mid and it helped me a lot. Um, on the striker role, that was fantastic. Funny enough that we came against the showdown Zagadu, which was his opponent. Um, he had a fantastic performance. He's great at dribbling. He's great at controlling. Uh, oddly enough, his composure is really, really nice. He doesn't lose that ball that often. He doesn't feel the pressure. Uh, his strength feels more than uh, that, that 72. His passing is great. His through ball is on point. Uh, his shooting is very, very nice. Um, maybe one or two shots were kind of weird but the rest of the shots were fantastic especially i think the last goal that he scored uh, was a really nice straight powerful shot that had a nice dip in it so his shooting is amazing his pace fantastic he gets going right away so all in all i will give this card a solid i would say 7.5 i would still prefer leon bailey uh than this card than this card even on seven cam i feel leon bailey plays a lot better than this card, but I think when EA comes out with these cards, uh, their true potential is when they get, and if they get an upgrade, even a plus one or a plus two. Um, so 
I believe that if this card gets an upgrade, it probably is going to be a better card than Leon Bailey and it's going to be a fantastic card. At that point, it's going to be a value card. If it goes to 92, I think it's going to go up really, really nicely. It will become a very, very good card. But as it stands as a 90 and most likely will stay a 90, I believe that Dortmund is going to win that game. I don't give that many uh, chances to Bayern Leverkusen winning that game. I don't think that is a good option to um, craft this SPC uh, unless you need that hybrid uh, English left wing Bundesliga to Premier League and that's asking a lot. Other than that, I would just suggest you get Leon Bailey as a right wing and playing on the left wing uh, as I've been doing on 7 Chem um, for many many games and trust me, it's a fantastic player. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.